Hi, I'm Matt Vanacoro, and I'm here today to talk to you about Monarch, the awesome analog synth modeled software from Native Instruments. We're going to talk about analog synthesis in general, how to get Monarch up and running, how to set it up to really take advantage of your particular MIDI and audio setup, whatever that may be. We'll talk a little bit about the signal flow of Monarch, where the signal starts, where it ends, and the different stages that it goes through to, and gets manipulated to come out the other end. You'll learn a little bit about analog synthesis technique and how to use oscillators and subtractive filters to shape your sound to get it to where you want it to be. And then finally, we'll talk a little bit about some of the features that are specific to Native Instruments Reactor and the benefits of running an analog synth inside of Reactor, like Monarch, and what you can do with it from there. So, very excited to share this with you. All these things together um, kind of come together and converged into the perfect storm of a great sounding and great feeling analog synth. So you can really get some classic sounds, but it's fun to play around with, and it really feels very responsive, very similar to the original synth that it is sort of modeled after. Well, let's dive in. <laughs> 